Hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> I've got some girls saying hello to me in the background. We might be in there. You know, when I got here, when I got onto this balcony, actually, was when it suddenly hit me that I am nomadic. Hola, buenas tardes, and welcome back to San Luis Potosí. Once again, it is ridiculously lovely weather today, clear blue skies, awesome. And today is Wednesday afternoon. It's February the 13th, which is the day before Valentine's Day. And I've been doing English lessons for the last nine hours, which means I think it's time to treat myself, don't you think? Today we're going to be checking out somewhere which many of you have recommended as a place to go in San Luis Potosí. It's actually somewhere that I did research as well before I got here, which is a chocolate shop. Yes, chocolate in Mexico is the best thing on the planet. After we've been there, we're going to be eating some of that as well, and we are going to be talking about a subject that has been very much on my mind lately. This is going to be a bit of a digital nomad update for those of you that are maybe vaguely interested in me, not just Mexico. <laughs> so let's get going. This chocolate company is called Costanzo, which from what I've read on the website, actually comes from Italy. So in the late 1800s, an Italian guy came from Italy to San Luis Potosí and set up a chocolate shop and there are various like branches around the city. I went to one yesterday, I'm not going to lie, I checked it out before this video and oh my god the chocolate was out of this world and I'm right outside now. Let's go and have a look. So they've got lots of different types of gifts here. So they've got gift packs here. Perfect for Valentine's Day, 299 pesos for a selection of chocolates. These little gift boxes, smaller ones if you are a bit more on a budget, that's 119 pesos. Little mugs, nicely shaped little gifts full of chocolates. Beautiful, 215 pesos. So, you know, it's not cheap, but um, you know, you have to come here if you're in San Luis Potosi. Hola, buenas tardes. Um, quiero tres uh, crema de café. Crema de café? Por favor. Um, eh, 300 gramos. Oh, uh, tres piezas. Yes, piezas. Tres piezas. Tres piezas. Um, tres crema de fresa. Uh -huh. uh, y crema de naranja. Uh, fresa, café, naranja. Uh, naranja, fresa. Uh -huh. Tres, tres, tres. Esas tres. Gracias. So as well as like the gift packs that I just showed you, they have like single chocolates at the top. You just have to ask the lady which ones you want. And um, they also have little like packet chocolates as well, which I bought yesterday. They're amazing. Um, she's just preparing my stuff now, so I better go and pay in a second. And I might actually buy like a gift box as well. Why not? I'm single. I have to buy these things for myself on Valentine's Day because no one else is going to do it. So that little lot that I ordered, the loose chocolates, 35 pesos. So actually the loose ones aren't that bad in terms of price but you know gift box why not little heart 108 pesos full of chocolates that's my dinner sorted tonight happy valentine's day to me hola buenas tardes buenas tardes and also gracias muchas gracias so this is going to be orgasmic gift box and look at the little bag it's so sweet that's got my little single chocolates in and the um, Princesa Fresa ones. So it's Wednesday afternoon. I'm being attacked by a pigeon that wants the chocolates. No, little chocolate. It's so sweet. It's got a little heart on it, like Valentine's Day. So I've got a coffee one, orange one, and a strawberry one. This is coffee. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? People have orgasms about chocolate, and I do. But you know, I went to a chocolate museum last year in Mexico City, and that's when I learned that chocolate in Mexico is amazing. It was invented here, like I said earlier. And um, just the, you know, I would describe it, the smell of it, first of all, it smells so different from the chocolate you would get like in, you know, Oxo or something. And <laughs> the taste is just divine. Mm. 
It's quite possibly one of the best things I've ever had in my mouth in my life. I'm not being dirty. <laughs> I've got some girls saying hello to me in the background. I might be in there. I don't think they're my type though. Strawberry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Beautiful. Mm. Right, and my final chocolate for today is um, this. So Princessa, they do orange, lemon and strawberry, a bit like the chocolates I got. Um, and it's kind of like a Jaffa cake. If you don't know what a Jaffa cake is, I'll put a picture of one on the screen now. If you're from the UK, you all know what a Jaffa cake is. It's like a chocolate biscuit, like spongy at the bottom. And then in the middle, it's got like an orange jelly thing. Jelly, British English, not jam, okay? So let's eat it. Princessa, Fraser, pigeon, go away. It's like the cats and dogs again from Cooking with David. Mmm. The smell of it again. Wonderful. Mmm, hang on. Mmm, there we go. So yeah, the same creamy stuff, but you can see at the bottom there, it's got like this Jaffa cake thing. English people know what I mean. It's very thick, same taste as the other chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm in heaven right now. It's literally a Jaffa cake, especially the orange one, oh my God. I'll be so fat by the time I leave San Luis Potosí. We already am. Right, now that I've licked up all the orange creamy stuff that went all over my hand, it's time to go home. And I'm going to talk to you about the difference between having a home and being a nomad. It will all become clear very soon. Now, at the beginning, I did say that I've been teaching English all day. And I do that with italki, who once again are the sponsors of this video. So if you're looking to learn a language from scratch, or if you're looking to improve on a language that you're already learning, italki is an ideal platform, mainly because you can speak to a native speaker like me. So the language that you learn is very much the language that is used in everyday life. One other great thing about italki is the fact that it's significantly more affordable than other online platforms. For example, Rosetta Stone, which can cost up to 200 US dollars for a beginner CD. That's crazy. With italki, you can find teachers as low as 10 US dollars. If you're interested in pursuing your language learning journey with italki, you can check out a link in the description below and also in the pinned comment where you can get 10 US dollars off your first purchase on italki. So get going with your language learning. Let's go home. Okay, I'm back home and I have my chocolates, beautiful. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm being professional now, it doesn't happen very often. And if you're looking for slightly humorous, idiotic videos from some guy with a British accent that you don't understand about long-term travel and digital nomad life, then please consider subscribing. Lovely. So let's get on with this. So first I want to do a bit of a review of January last year. So I returned to Mexico City on January the 9th and I must say overall, January was a very successful month. It's probably one of the most successful months that I've had in the last two and a bit years that I've been doing this. You know, in terms of English lessons, my lessons were full up. My schedule was full for the whole of January to the point where I was having to turn people away. Crazy, shush, dog. Dogs always interrupt. And <laughs> in terms of YouTube, you know, you might have noticed I've been uploading less videos, like sometimes even one a week. And that's a conscious decision because I want to increase the quality of them in terms of the filming, the editing, the actual content. You know, someone did suggest, I think it was Carlos in um, the comments, that it would be good if there was some kind of message behind videos. And I'm trying to do that in some videos. So particularly videos like Tapito, Los Pinos, the Palanco food one, and also the Mexico City from above. I'm really proud of those videos. I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but if you look back at my old videos, I'm going to do a reacting to old videos video for my 10,000 subscriber celebration. When it happens, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, oh my god. And there's one other positive as well in that, you know, I said I wanted to find a home in Mexico City, which I absolutely have done. You know, I finalised a place from the beginning of March. It's one of the reasons why I'm in San Luis Potosí right now, because I had an opportunity to travel this month, which is great. And, you know, when I'm in Mexico City, I will be travelling around various places in Mexico during that time as well so I've got a base at last so that's all the positives you know however there is a negative and this is what the point is about about the difference between having a home and feeling like you are nomadic deep down which I am so during that month I started to feel a bit lonely and depressed at times even though I did go out with friends sometimes for the first time in ages literally ever but I still felt like that everything started to feel a bit familiar I felt a bit bored you know, as much as I love Mexico City, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You know, if you're in a place for a long time, sometimes it will feel familiar. And that's nothing against Mexico City. So I was really glad to get out of there, <laughs> if I'm honest, in the end. And that probably didn't come across in 
of videos I did. That's why I do these videos like this, to, to, to give you a bit of background into the person doing the video, because that's what this channel is about, the Tao of David, the journey of David, in case you didn't realise, it's not about Mexico, as I said earlier. And, you know, when I got here, when I got onto this balcony, actually, was when it suddenly hit me that I am nomadic. I am a nomadic soul. So if you look back at videos I did in 2017, where I was literally traveling crazy fast, <laughs> ridiculously fast, you know, I loved that. Absolutely loved that. And I love, you know, having a base as well and being in a country for longer because it allows you to learn more about a country. But at the same time, I still want to move about, you know, and, and this brings me on to a point which might not upset you because you're not you're not going to be upset but it, <laughs> you might be surprised you know I'm not planning on staying in Mexico forever you know I'm not one of these YouTube couples there's many of them you know that are married or boyfriend and girlfriend that come to Mexico as expats and settle here that's not me you know the, the fundamental thing about this channel from the beginning was it's about the journey <laughs> and traveling around so I'm I will be leaving Mexico in July okay <laughs> I'm going to El Salvador first of all because I had to book a flight onward flight but I'm looking to go maybe back to Europe, Asia for the rest of the year. But, you know, saying that, I said that last year, didn't I? And within a month I was back in Mexico. So, you know, my, my plans change like the wind. You know, my plans change more times than I change my pants. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's that really. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better now, you know, being here and knowing that tomorrow I'm going to Cedral and Real de Catorce and Hosteca Potosina in a couple of weeks, I'm really excited about that. And you know, being on the road again is the thing that has re-energized me and revitalized me. All of those words with re at the beginning, that's all of them, okay? English vocabulary time. <laughs> yeah, so that's the update, really. Um, if you have any comments on this, you know, um, are you a digital nomad as well? Are you looking to pursue this kind of life? Um, perhaps why you're, that's why you're watching this channel. You know, put, put in the comments down below what your opinion is. That would be great. I would love to know because sometimes it's difficult when I'm doing this by myself and it feels like, you know, there's not a, anyone else doing the same thing. So um, there obviously is, but you know, you get what I mean. So that's this video done. Um, bit of an update, bit of chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm. So, um, yeah. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that malarkey. And um, I'll see you in Cedral. I'll catch you later.